Just be careful of where we bend the turbo couple. Uh, I still recommend to grind your, your cube. Uh, cube cube definitely will bang. Uh. Mm -hmm. cube, all right. The thing I'm working for is maybe this is not enough. Maybe I need to the thickness of the coating also. Because mm. you know, right now, uh, I, I can see when I apply the first layer, thermocouple is not entirely embedded in it. Ah. So that itself oh, okay. is slightly erroneous temperature. I mean, it gives much higher value than because the flame mm. always goes this way. It's, I think because of the glass. Yeah, yeah so, so it always goes this way, right? Yeah. Turn it this way? No, no, no. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think we just do it for now. Um, Anu, I, I suggest few things that uh, later on you want to improve. Um, you need to measure the thickness of the insulations first and then you also need to measure the thickness of the, of the right. layer after it burns. Yeah, I mean, because we have to do the detail because of the detail because yeah, we are planning it, it, to cut the thing. But if you cut then, then no, no. is it then we have other the samples, we have other samples, multiple samples we have. Oh, okay. So we are going to cut and then we are going to do the chemical analysis also. Okay. Because we need to see Actually, I should probably next time I will even make a larger coating because you see the flame is directly touching the concrete over here. Mm. Not a great idea. Yeah, um, no, I think, I think that is. I, good I think I think you should better next time you measure the overall height of the of the foam yeah. after it burn. You mean how much it too much? Is it? Yeah. But this time. Let's say how, how much it is. So if we expect the flame even lower because you know it's slow, it's slow, it's slow. It's it's slow, it's slow, it's 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 I just now forget the I what happened? Careless, careless. Just now, if we have turned it the other way, we will have one good sense for it. It's just way? because just now it failed, it's just because the thing was bent like that. Yeah, if we bend it the other way, we would have a no, no, but then that's, that's how you learn. That's yeah, you learn. yeah, but. You, you make one it's mistake. It's such an obvious thing to ask, but then none of us just yeah. saw it happen. Maybe though, I need to slightly bend it because it is directly hitting the concrete. That will make a difference to the. Don't, don't change that. You you might change the. Yeah, affect the, the interface for being cut anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't change it anymore. Just one your test. At least you have a constant. Yeah. When you test, you will have to keep the condition is the same. <laughs> One sixty nine, huh? Eh? One seventy. Yeah. Looks look like it's very stable. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So if it's so from now, if it start to pick, right, means it failed. Am I right to say? Sorry. If suddenly the interface temperature peaks, means it failed. Uh, if it suddenly peaks, then yes. Yeah. So it's, it's a definite fear, right? Yeah. Then but we I want to do it until we run a sudden off. peak. It's, it will be probably more like you know we start seeing an elevation. Yeah, so a change in gradient. 
Yeah. So do we stop when we finish everything or when we start to see an obvious change? We just let it go till about one hour or so if it, if it, I mean, if we uh, coating can be physically seen on the surface, we'll just let it go till about an hour. And then, uh, then later we will sit down and try to analyze okay. how what the temperature may indicate because we can also look at the coating itself to judge hmm, what may be happening. The temperature is dropping. It may drop no, because I'm of the expandable flat, graphite. Flat no, because I'll tell you why. The temperature of 800 degrees centigrade is not enough for the expandable graphite to expand completely. Okay. How much is it? It can go up to 1000. 900, 950 is the expert maximum. So what happens is the flame hits the graphite expansion. So you are saying this so system can even more. go even more? Uh, we can take it to 1000. We can take it to 1000 because they recommend something like 950 for the maximum expansion of the graphite. Mm. That is why we chose this grade. So you know what, what it will do is like uh, if the flame tends to increase slightly the graphite will expand a little more. Mm. So that will pull back the temperature again okay. straight. Okay. Yeah, like do, do you want to uh, break some blocks now? Yeah, I'll wait. I'll 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 some because it make too much noise, I'll wait for the thing to get over. <laughs> <coughs> and the draft is not helping. I think the draft is... Yeah, the draft is our first experiment. Yeah. So, <laughs> the draft at least the second helping. one we know. Okay. Okay. Some corrections to be made. One is I have to make a larger coating. I have to make you know more surface coverage. I can't allow the flame to keep touching the concrete directly because that is also contributing to a slightly higher temperature. On the back, yes. Yeah. Like even on this side, you know, if the flame is directly hitting the concrete, mm. yeah. So that will also you know slightly increase the interface temperature. I think for for now, the more important one is the interface. Interface, yeah. 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 Now, now the interface. You want to see how how long it started to Change increase. increase. Yeah. I uh, I'm so careless just. Mm -hmm. It's going up now. No, it's still it's still it's shooting up. We need to shoot up now. One eighty three. Yeah, one eighty three already. Yeah. Increased temperature. And that's only. 8 minutes, less than 8 minutes. No, because some of it will also have to do with the fact that the flame is directly hitting the, mm. at the edges, the flame is hitting the concrete so directly, the heating up directly. We can get a more, yeah, so it have to cover more. Result when we do the cube. Yeah. The cube, definitely mm. the cube. No, I think better the cube, you want to curve, you want to <laughs> the whole, the whole surface. Do you, do you have a laptop? Uh, no. Okay, because I just found the drivers for this, the installation and everything. Right, okay. So if I get in my job, laptop this time, right. we don't have to bring everything. I just right. need to bring the right. box. Right. Yeah, look, two more couples here for lock. Okay, then you. I don't often bring my laptop here because you know I have a desktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Mm. Started to increase slowly, 190 already. No, no, the problem is that you know it is licking the concrete directly at the edges, the fire. Mm. You see, it is yellowing over there. It's still fluctuating, dropping mm. more detail. You see, it is, it is actually it is uh, making the concrete go yellow and brown at the edges. Mm. Is, is it me or is it this intimate is thicker? Or it seems like there is more intimacy. Uh, there is more intimacy, you are right. Yes, more than usual. That system. Yes. And this is PU. Uh, PU. Yes. Let's look. Look, look, look. But I recommend for the cube, yes. um, you do coating the whole surface. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't do something like this because you, you will hit uniformly, so you don't want any surface to be uneven. Well, but here I can see the problem, you know, because the flame